Hey there, welcome back. This is Professor Hank, and in this video, we are going to discuss slicing in Python. Specifically, we're going to talk about how to slice up lists. Okay, so let's go ahead and begin. So what slicing allows you to do is select a range of elements from a list. So say you have a list of values and you're only interested in working with, say, three of them. Right? You got this list, it's got 10 elements, but you only want to deal with three specific elements, right? Um, say you want to find out what the sum is of those three, those three elements. Well, slicing allows us to do that. We can just grab uh, those three elements and then do our business with those elements, disregarding the rest of the list. Slicing allows us to do this. So here's the general format, and it's going to be similar to... Uh, indexing right we're going to use reuse that indexing notation but we're going to add a colon in here as well so we're going to have uh, the name of the list right and then we're going to specify the first element of the list that we are interested in working with and then we're going to follow that with a colon and then after that we're going to specify the last element we want to go up to but not including okay so that's the general idea. And what that'll do is that'll select range of elements that includes the first element specified here before the colon and then goes up through, but not including, or up to, but not including the last element that we specified. Okay, so let's take a look at an example here. What I'll do is I'll go ahead and create a list of numbers, which I'll call nums. Right, and I'll initialize this with the values um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay, so this is my list. And if I want to work with just say 2, 3, and 4, then what am I going to do? Well, I'm going to use this slicing notation, right? So I can say nums, and instead of just having a single index in here, right, which would access, you know, nums of 1 would access the 2 here. I'm going to go ahead and include that colon and then I'm going to add um, a second index I guess you could say right because what I want is I want two three and four so uh, the first index right let me put this up here for reference is zero and that corresponds to the one uh, one is the second index that corresponds to two two is the third uh, etc okay so if I wanted to work with two three and four well, then what I would do here is I would place as my second index, right, in, in this slice notation, uh, the four, the four, subscript four, or index four. Because um, with slices, we start at the first index and we go up to, but not including, the second one, right? So this will give me this slice right here, two, three, and four. Indexes one through three, right? We Put the four here but we don't include the four okay so if i then turn around and pass that to the print function what am i going to see okay two three four right that's the slice that i pulled out now in addition to just printing it out i could take that slice and assign it to some other variable so let's call it um, variable a right so if i do that then now I end up with two separate lists, right? So with the first print statement, let's go ahead and print the entire uh, list, right? And then I took that slice that I pulled out, which contains two, three, and four, and then assigned it to a variable A, and then I can print out uh, A, right? So you can see that now I have two completely separate lists. Okay, so let's look at some variations of the slicing syntax uh, that we can use to help us to select the range of elements that are going to make up our slice. Okay, so this first example here, we've left out that first index. It's optional. If we do that, then it defaults to index zero, right? So in this first example, what we're going to get is we're going to get all the elements in our slice uh, from the list that had indexes zero through four. Because remember, um, we go up to it, that second index we go up to, but we don't include that. Okay, so the second example, 
we've left out the second index and that's fine, right? The first index stipulates or specifies that we're going to start with the third element in the list when we're creating our new slice uh, because that has index two and we're gonna get the rest of the elements in the list to be part of our slice, no matter how long it is, okay? Now, if we leave out both, what we're essentially gonna get is a copy of the entire list, okay? Now, we can specify a third index, right? And if we do that, then what we're saying is, this is how many steps we're gonna have. And this is similar to how the range function works. So here, we're gonna begin with the element that has index two, which is the third element in the list. And then we're gonna end with the element that has index eight. Because remember that second index, we don't include the element that has an index. We go up to it, but we don't include it. And then the third index is specifying, well, how many steps or how big of a step are we gonna take? So what that means is that we're gonna start off at index two. And then we're gonna get the element with index four. And then we're going to get the element with index six. And then we're going to get the element with index eight. And then we're done, right? Because you go up two, but don't include the second index, okay? Now we can also specify a negative index and that allows us to wrap around backwards, right? So in this example right here, what this is going to do is it's going to create a slice that begins with the second to last element of some list. Right? Because the first element has index zero. And so minus one would be go to the end of the list, right? We're wrapping around and going backwards. And then minus two goes to the next to the last. Okay. And then since there is no second index, that would mean grab all the rest. So this is this is a short way of saying, or another way of saying, hey, give me the last two elements of the list in my slice. Okay, so I've got this list named nums. Here's your indexes for the elements. So print nums shows you our list as it currently stands. I'm gonna make a slice of it to access uh, these first three elements. I want that to be part of my new uh, slice, right? So I'll create a variable called new slice and then I'll assign to it nums of uh, zero through two, right? And so the way I'll do that is I'll use that variation that says, hey, we can go ahead and leave out this first index and I wanna go through two and not include three, okay? So let's print that new slice to show it to you. Okay, so eight, six, seven, right? So brand new slice. Let's say that I only wanted the five and the three, right? Well, what I could do is, is I could say, all right, well, let's start off at index three, okay? Uh, when I do that, I'm gonna start by getting the five and then I wanna get all the rest of the elements in my slice, right? So no matter how long the list is, by leaving off that second index, I'm gonna get the rest of them, okay? And so then I'll assign that to my new slice. And then I'll go ahead and uh, print new slice. Okay, go ahead and run that and show it to you. So there's the five, three. Okay, and now let's do some steps, right? So let's say that in my new slice, I only wanted um, eight, seven, and three. Eight, seven, and three. Okay, so then what I would do is, is I would say, right, the indexes I would, provide would be, I would want uh, the very first in the list, right? So I could either put zero here or I could leave it out because remember it defaults to zero. So I'll just go ahead and leave it out, okay? And I want to go through the end, but not including, I want to go through the whole, the end of the list, right? Because I said zero, uh, two, and four, right? Because I want the eight, the seven, and the three. So. I'll go through the end of the list, so I'll leave that second index out also, okay? Now I only want every other element. So that means I should make my steps two, okay? And then I'll assign that to new slice, okay? 
Okay, and then I'll show you my new slides. Okay, go ahead and run that. And so you can see 873, 873. I started with the first element, that's why that's blank. I went through the very end of the list, that's why the second one is blank. And then I said, hey, we're gonna go every other one. That's why the two is there. Okay, let me give you just one more example of that because taking a look at these colons here, that might look a little, little weird, right? So let's say that I only wanted, um, I don't know, the uh, six and the five, right? Six and the five. Well, then one way I could do that is I could do something like this. I could say nums, let's start off with index one, right? And let's go up to, but not including index four, right? So that right now by itself would give me this slice right here, but I want every other one. So I'll make my step two. So then I'll assign that to new slice, right? And then I'll show you my new slice. Okay, so I got just the six and the five. In this example, all I've been doing is printing out the contents of the slice, right? But I could easily, easily take that slice and pass it, say, to the max function, right? And by doing that, I can then print out what the biggest value is in that slice. So six and five, was the slice that I created with this last statement here. And so now when I pass that slice to max, it's gonna tell me what the biggest number is in that slice. In this case, that's gonna be uh, six, right? So you can imagine a scenario where you've got this set of data and you've got some subset of data within that set. And you wanna say, well, what's the biggest number in that subset? Right, it's a perfect example of how you can do it, right? So working with lists and sets of data in Python with tools that are built in, really easy, okay? Uh, all right, so let me show you one last time or one last example here, and that's gonna be um, using the uh, negative um, indexes, okay? So let's say that I wanted to get uh, 753. Okay, what I could do is I could say, all right, well, let's use a negative index here. So if I say negative one, that would get me to the last element of the list. If I say negative two, it's the next to last. If I say negative three, it's the next to the next to last, right? So we're starting off here. This is negative one. Right, I'll go ahead and type this down so you can see it. That's negative one, right? This is negative two. This guy would be negative three, right? This guy would be negative four. And then this guy would be negative five, right? So you can only wrap around one time, right? You don't keep going. It doesn't become go zero or go to negative six, then come all the way back here, then negative seven, go here, negative eight, et cetera. You only get to wrap around one time. Okay, so if I say negative three, that's gonna to correspond to the element that has the seven in it, right? And so then I can do that, and then uh, I'll go ahead and leave the um, second index out. So what that's basically saying is, hey, grab me a slice that is starts with the second to second to last um, element. So give me the last, in this case, last three elements of the list and put that in my slice. Okay. And so there you go. Okay, so let's go ahead and summarize what we talked about in this video. We began with an introduction to the basics of slicing and an overview of what the syntax looks like for creating a slice. I demonstrated to you variations of the syntax, right? Leaving out first index, second index, how to do steps, negative uh, indexes, etc. And then we wrote sample programs illustrating uh, the ideas that we covered. Okay, so that's gonna bring this video to a close. If you felt that the video was useful, please consider 
giving the video a thumbs up and if you thought that the video sucked well then you've got that thumbs down button as an option as well if you'd like to see more videos if you're interested in more content from the channel feel free to hit that subscribe button and as usual if you're a student of mine and you have further questions feel free to drop me an email or to stop by my office hours okay thanks for watching and we'll see you next time